Did you know that there are five different types of dental crowns that you can get for a back tooth? In this video, I'm going to show and talk about the five different types and give you the pros and cons of each. I'll also tell you which type of crowns I use most often in my office. Hey dental fans, I'm Dr. Rich, teaching you about dentistry and teeth so that you can have a very nice smile. Please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my weekly dental videos. So the five different types of crowns for back teeth that I've used are full gold crowns, full contour zirconia crowns, porcelain fused to metal crowns, porcelain fused to zirconia crowns, and Emacs, also called lithium disilicate crowns. The main type of crown I use for back teeth nowadays is called a full contour zirconia crown. It is an all porcelain crown so that it looks like a tooth and it is very strong. I'd say I use this type of crown probably about 85 to 90% of the time. If the tooth is not visible when you speak or smile, I'll use the strongest type of zirconia available. The downside is that it's a bit opaque looking, but there is a translucent zirconia available, which looks better, but it is not as strong as the original formula zirconia. I will use the translucent zirconia if I'm fixing a tooth closer to the front of the mouth and if the patient doesn't mind how it looks. If I need to make a really aesthetic crown for a back tooth, I'll use Emacs. It's a type of porcelain called lithium disilicate and it looks very natural. It looks so good that it's used for front teeth as a lot as well. The downsides to Emacs is that it's not as strong as zirconia and in order to make it as strong as possible, it has to be bonded in instead of just cemented in like zirconia. Bonding is a more complicated process and takes a little bit longer. Full gold crowns are just what they sound like. It's a crown that is made completely out of gold alloy. It's usually about 50% gold, so about 12 karat. The more gold in the alloy, the softer the alloy becomes. A full gold crown is typically the strongest crown you can have made with arguably the best fit. A full gold crown is strong because it is made out of metal. It won't crack. It can be made to fit a tooth very well because it's cast. First, a wax pattern is made, then that is used to cast the crown. The downside to a gold crown is that it's gold. Not everybody likes how it looks. I still place them occasionally on first and second molars in patients who want a strong crown and don't care about the color. The last two types of crowns, I don't use much at all anymore. Those two are porcelain fused to metal and porcelain fused to zirconia crowns. Porcelain fused to metal crowns used to be the main type of crown that was used on back teeth if you wanted the crown to look like a tooth. It consists of a thin layer of white gold, which is then covered with porcelain to look like a tooth. The white gold layer is very strong, but the weak part of the crown was the porcelain. The porcelain that was used was called feldspathic porcelain. It looks very natural, but it's not very strong. It's common to see people with chipped porcelain fused to metal crowns. The underlying metal layer still seals the tooth, but some of the porcelain has chipped off. Porcelain fused to zirconia crowns are similar to porcelain fused to metal crowns, but the crown has a thin layer of zirconia, which is then covered with porcelain. If the porcelain chips off of a porcelain fused to zirconia crown, the underlying zirconia still looks tooth colored. In my office, full contour zirconia and Emacs have replaced porcelain fused to metal crowns, but I will use porcelain fused to metal if I need to replace an existing three tooth bridge with a new bridge. Full contour zirconia bridges are available, but the material needs to be pretty thick to have enough strength. This can end up making the bridge look kind of bulky compared to a uh, porcelain fused to metal crown. So I hope you learned something about dental crowns for back teeth. I post new videos weekly, so please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.